What's up folks, it's your boy DT 2.0 and today we have an unboxing and initial impressions finally of the Alienware X14. Is this all that it's cracked up to be? Let's get it. Ah, so here we are finally and I'm a little bit excited and I'll say to, to, to say the least. Now right off the bat, I can see that the box is way smaller than that of the X15 and X17 R1s that I had in here before. I haven't had the R2s just yet. And because of that, I'm a little bit excited about getting my hands on the actual piece to see how it feels in comparison to, say, the G14 that I had in here just a few days ago. Now, I made my previous video with my concerns of the X14, and now I'll be able to see if those concerns are valid when I do the review. But today, I just want to take it out the box, get a feel for the look, and uh, well, get a feel for the look and the design, and then turn it on to see what that screen looks like. But before we do all of that, let's get into these specs. Now, this thing sports the Intel Core i7 12700H, 16 gigabytes of RAM at 4800 megahertz, a 512 SSD, RTX 3050 Ti with 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 14 inch full HD display at 144 hertz with Comfort View Plus, plus uh, 3 millisecond response time, NVIDIA G Sync, and Advanced Optimus. Now, that is a lot for a laptop of this size, but I don't want to say power because with a 3050 Ti, and that ain't a lot of gaming power inside of this, because just, just be real, it is what it is. But it is an Alienware, and I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, so let's finally take the draws off of this. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and uh, just like it was with the X15 and X17, though we don't have any cushion up here at the top, um, I guess this cushion and inside is all cardboard. And inside there's a box that's even smaller than the outside box. Now, one thing that I do, I don't want to say like, I, but I, I guess I do like about Alienware or Dell when they're sending their things out, it is tightly packaged. But the one that, the thing that I, that, that I hate about it is they put this thing on my porch just like this. So, and I was supposed to sign for it, and they didn't even allow me to sign for it. They just placed it on my porch and ran. Now, of course, I live, I, I, I would like to say I live in a neighborhood that's honest, but there is Alienware branding on this, so I'm pretty sure if given the opportunity, some kid will pass and probably pick it up because the handle is just sitting there waiting to be grabbed. All right, so in here we have the usual, the power cable, right, and then the power brick. And I can tell you right now, right off the bat, I can see a difference in this power brick because it doesn't say Alienware. It actually says Dell on it. Let me get some focus on that. Is there a focus on that? It says Dell on there. So, uh, uh, I think the last one, when the R, the R, uh, the, or the X15 R1s and X17 R1s actually had Alienware on it. So, I'm a little bit disappointed that they're just, I guess, taking, taking these from one of their XPS lines. Um, but anyway, what else we got in here? Uh, well, what looks like a dongle, but it doesn't feel like anything's in there. Did they rip me off? Look at that. Nothing in here. Go figure. I'm supposed to have a dongle right there, but there's no dongle in the inside. Dale, what the fuck's up with that, bruh? What's going on? I just opened this box for the first time. This two for two. I get some fuck shit inside my boxes, or a lack of fuck shit in this case. But last time I had a dongle, this time I don't have a dongle, and there's nothing else in this box but nothing. But look... Two bad things right off the bat. One, or bad things to me, and I'm nitpicking. One, Dell branding on an Alienware product. I get it. It's owned by Dell. But just like I have a Hyundai Genesis, there's no Hyundai written on it. Not anymore. What fuck's up with that? All right, let's get this damn box out of here. I'm a little bit hot already. All right. So here's the box. The other box. Wrapped in plastic. And, hey, they're doing their branding. Or not their branding, but they're wrapping just like Apple. You know, they're putting a little bit, a lot of these companies are, they're putting, they're putting a little bit more of a emphasis and detail on their packaging. And I like it because it makes you feel like you got a premium product. Now, I did pay with taxes $1,600 for this. So, this is right in the price range of that G14 that I brag so much about. But guess what? G14 that I just had in here had a QHD 500 nit display and had a 3060 in it. This thing better perform. Let's open it up. And this, I mean, it took up this whole small box. And I'm a, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Let's 
put this to the side and see what we got here. Probably books. Uh, that's a damn wheel right here, y'all. That's a wheel. 100% recycled plastic, 25% from ocean bound resources. So good on Dell. Again, detail in the packaging. Look at that. Look at that right there. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. Look at that right there with the X14. It was the same on the box for the R14 and R13 that I had in here. It was the same on the box for the X15 R1. So they're really putting a lot of emphasis uh, in detail in their boxing. Hopefully they're not adding to the price of these things because of that. All right, so I can tell you right off the bat. Well, you know what? Let me take the drawers off first. Boom. Let me get that out the way. Man, this thing is razor thin. Wow. Wow. That is razor thin. Oh, Lord. It is, and it feels solid. I, look, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick comparison with the G14. G14, though, was solid, and I said it in my video, it had a little bit of flex to it. Barely any flex. This, next to none. I'm liking it already. In my concern video, uh, with the design of this X14 since it's basically just a miniature X15, X17 I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't have the racetrack lighting in the back and I'm still concerned, or not concerned, but I'm still disappointed in that but it did give me the ports that I liked right so let's just open it up and see what it looks like and see if it has some juice open it up, oh man I'm kinda feeling this I didn't think I was gonna be uh you know, this uh, excited about it. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit speechless. I ain't gonna lie. All right, let's see if this thing has some juice. Wah, 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 wah. Let me plug it up real quick and I'll get back with y'all. Now, we don't have power just yet, but I wanted to show you guys something real quick. This is a actual USB-C charger with the little light on it on both sides. So it doesn't matter which way you put it in, you still get some of that light. And then finally, Finally, they add some type of cable management to this. Very little, but normally Dell don't give you no that much cable management, but this time they did. So let's plug this thing up. So I'm getting, I'm gonna be a little bit hood with it. So I'll be off camera every now and again. Let's see. Let's hope I don't blow nothing up by plugging it in the wrong USB-C port. All right, let's see what we got here. Come on, baby. If it's broke, this is going on camera. Ah, oh, we have some juice. All right. All right, so while it's juicing itself up, let's go over um, some of the specs of it, right? Uh, just like I said in the video before, um, in my concern video, you have no option to get a per key keyboard. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. So this is just uh one off or one zone keyboard is it bright uh, i hope i can turn it up brighter than this but in comparison to the g14 the keys are black the deck is black contrast is perfect so if it doesn't get any brighter than this i'll be satisfied now before cartana starts running a damn mouth let's unplug this real quick on each side you have nothing but vents vents there and the vent there and then in the rear as you can see, you have the USB-C charging port, headphone, microphone, combo jack, uh, HDMI out, a USB-A, micro SD card slot, and then two, what looks like, hopefully that Thunderbolt symbol in the middle means it's for both. So, it, so you don't pick between the two, but it looks like two Thunderbolt uh, ports. So that's a good thing. I already like this thing a little bit better than the X15, to be honest with you, because the X15, for the size that it was, uh, should have had... A better port selection uh, just like the X17 and the X14 should have had what the X15 has but I'm, I'm a little bit ex uh, satisfied with that and I'm satisfied that they kept the light on here so they took the racetrack right lighting away and then kept the uh, iconic head Woo! this screen I know y'all watched and saw my camera uh, go dim a little bit but this thing is bright and because it's 14 inches even though it's only only 1080p it's still the pixel density is still up there so let me pause for a second and get this thing started up and give you my initial impressions look at a couple of videos 
Now, I actually had to dim the screen because this screen is, it looks like it's, it's, well, it looks to be extremely bright. I haven't looked up the actual uh, brightness or max brightness of the screen, but it looks to be on par with the G14 because it definitely blew out my camera and that's why everything went to shit uh, once the screen came on. Now, a couple of other differences that we have here. It looks like we have some designs on each side and this coating on top feels a little rubberish, right? A little bit disappointed that I don't have the uh, alien head, but I'm going to forgive them because I assume it's because of lack of space. So they integrated the power button inside of the keyboard, which we all know from previous videos, especially from videos of my uh, MSI GE66 reviews, that I hate that. But it does have a little bit more tactile feel, so it's not easy to press like in the, in the uh, MSI GE66 versions. But um, trackpad, initial impressions, feels good. Um... The, again, this this deck right here feels to have a rubber coating in it, and uh, the keyboard, while it doesn't have much uh, as much key travel as the G14, I like it because I've been a, a fan of Alienware keyboards for a long time. I love the feel of the keyboards in general, but I don't mind it having that much less. It's just a tad bit less key travel than on the G14, but in comparison, as far as design-wise, I'm loving it. So let me name, name this thing and get in the inside of it. One thing that I noticed that I don't like about this uh, laptop uh, in general, or this gaming laptop, or this Alienware laptop in general is, wait for it, and I'm nitpicking, but it's a valid one, is this damn shift key is small as hell. What the actual, you know what? Look at that. Look how small that shift key is in comparison to the one on the other side. That's going to take some getting used to, right? So just be mindful of that when you have, when you get one in here, it's going to take some adjustments. Minor, right? It only takes, you know, muscle memory, depending on, depending on how much you type on this, but it's going to take some muscle memory to get used to that small shift key. I had the same issue on the MSI G66. Eh, I got used to it, but I, overall, I didn't like it. All right, so we're starting everything up. So to wrap this up, let's just talk about the things that I like and then the things that I don't like. Love the size. Love the keyboard. Love that this deck is rubberized and it's a little bit soft. Trackpad could be a little bit bigger, but I understand that because of the size of the computer. Love the port selection in the back that I showed you. Check. Fans, they've been running, but they haven't been that high. Don't like the power button, but I can deal with it. Now, the things that I don't like. The damn shift key. Mm. It's not doing anything, but the fans are blowing. Eh. Uh, track lighting gone. Eh. Y'all couldn't put that in here? Really? Mm. 3050 Ti in the inside. And I'm again, I'm going to play some games to, to see, but I don't expect much out of that 3050. But other than that, I'm loving the size, loving the weight, the thinness, the solidness of it. And hopefully when I, do, when I finally do this review, we get a good outcome. This is your boy DT 2.0. Thanks for watching. Deuces.